Are you currently recording your video and audio files separately when working on projects? Or are you being sent clips and audio files from your clients and wondering how the heck do I make sense of all of this so I can just start working with the good video and audio together? Well, if that's you, then you'll want to watch this video as I'll be breaking down the process to show you how to sync audio with video in DaVinci Resolve 17 so that you can avoid the stress and get on with the creative process of video editing. Do stick around to the end of the video too as I've buried the next keyword somewhere in this video. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, then you'll want to go back and watch this video very carefully. If this isn't your first time here, then welcome back. It's so good to see you here again, and it really means a lot to know that you're wanting to learn more about DaVinci Resolve and you like what I am doing here on the channel. For those of you though who are new around here, hello, my name is Alex, and I'm a certified DaVinci Resolve trainer, and I'm passionate about helping independent content creators and businesses learn DaVinci Resolve 17, which is an incredibly free yet powerful video editing software so that they can work faster and more effectively to achieve their goals with video. If that sounds interesting to you, then do consider subscribing to the channel as I aim to put out new videos each and every week and I'd love to have you here as part of the community. So this situation is actually very common and occurs when you're using a dual system sound approach during filming. You may not know that you're doing it, but essentially if you're recording sound in camera and also recording sound via another recorder or microphone such as a Zoom H6 or H1, then you've got a dual system sound approach. This is great though, because it means you'll have some excellent audio from your high quality recorder and then some not so good audio from your camera because generally speaking, the sound recorded by your camera won't be very good in terms of loudness or audibility. Equally, if it's got a built-in mic, then it probably won't be very good quality anyway. So how do we deal with these separate audio and video clips inside of DaVinci Resolve 17? Well, thankfully, DaVinci Resolve makes it super easy, barely an inconvenience to get these audio clips and video clips synced together to allow you to begin working with them. So let's dive over to Resolve 17 and I'll show you how to do it. So here we are in DaVinci Resolve and I just want to draw your attention to this bottom area here. We're in the media page. We have some bins and a timeline. In the bins we have some audio files and some video files. So we're starting off nice and organized. The initial audio is not good. So let's have a little listen to this. People make very strong friendships within their boarding house. Yet in order for integration to true... So you can hear the internal camera audio wasn't very good on this occasion, but all we needed to be was audible so that we have enough of a scratch track to sync our high quality audio to, which is this track here. Let me show you what that sounds like. To work, to think, to read, to talk, to laugh. The center combines the best of beautiful Victorian school architecture. So you can see it's much better quality. So we want to sync that automatically. So to do that, little power tip coming up. If you press command and select the other bin, you're now able to see the contents of both bins together. So what I'm going to do is I'm just simply going to select all the tracks that I want to sync. So in this case, it's the three video tracks and the good quality audio. I'm going to right click. And I'm going to come up here to auto sync audio and you've got a couple of options here that you can look at. So first of all, you have based on time code and you have based on time code and a pen tracks. And obviously we're not going to be using time code on this occasion. If you had matching time code on your audio clip and your video clip, then you could absolutely use time code to do the syncing. But in this case we don't. So we're going to have to use our waveform. I'll come back to the based on waveform and append tracks in just a moment. But for now, let's just use based on waveform. Simply click that. DaVinci Resolve will quickly whiz through and it's now just synced all of our audio. So these three clips now have this audio synced to them. And let's just have a little look at these and play back. Really happen across the sixth form. If I also show you the full audio waveform, you can see that the waveform has definitely improved and updated. It's so important for pupils to have a center like this. And you can also see that if I load up a different track. Pupils to have a center like this in which they get to know each other. You can see that it's all perfectly in sync across the board, which is absolutely fantastic. Now, if I click on a clip and come across to the metadata panel, it's, if that is not showing, you can just simply open it by toggling this option on here. Come across, you can see I've got two channel audio, which is what I want. If I right click and come up to the clip attributes and come to the audio tab, then what you'll see here is I have source channel as linked channel one and linked channel two. Now that's absolutely great. If I hit the drop down, you can see I've got embedded channel one and embedded channel two. If I turn back to that, then you can see how my waveform is now updated to show me the original audio. Which they get to know each other. Just showing you that the actual original audio hasn't been deleted. You could always go back to it at any point, but you want to make sure that you're using the linked channels. Okay, so now they're linked and all the other ones are linked. We're absolutely great. We can start going ahead and using those on the timeline. Just gonna jump in here really quickly to see if you're following me so far. All making sense and helpful? Cool. 
If you could just take a second to pop the like button on for me, that would be amazing. And it will just let other people know that this video has been helpful. Also, I just wanted to say that I'm going to be launching some DaVinci Resolve 17 online courses very, very soon. And you can find more about these down in the description below. I'm just currently putting these together as we speak, but we're going to be starting with the beginner's guide to DaVinci Resolve 17. And then I'll be adding courses on advanced editing, color grading, fusion and Fairlight all in due course. Currently though, you can get a 50% discount on the future course prices as part of an early bird offer while I put the finishing touches on all of the content. This offer will only be available until the end of May before I launch the course content in the summer. So if that sounds like a good deal, then do head over and check that out. While you wait, you'll also receive some early bird exclusive offers and opportunities behind the scene access that won't be available after the courses are released. Now, let's get back to the video. So we mentioned we'd come back to the option for appending the tracks. So and let's just show you that on a different track altogether. So in this instance, let's use this clip down here, which is this chap giving an interview. And again, the audio is really bad. Let's listen to it. Only after we named the shop uh, by certain course of events, uh, we found out. So really, really bad audio. We want to put this much better quality audio with it. Although this one was recorded a little bit low, but we want to sync these two together. Now, first of all, what I want to just do is right click on the clip attributes and come here and you can see that it's only got an embedded channel at the moment. That's because we haven't done the syncing yet. So if I just do the syncing now in the same way, so select the clips, right click, and then auto sync audio and based on waveform. But this time we'll do the based on waveform and append tracks. So what that's gonna do is you'll now see that we have three channels of audio shown over here. And that's because we've obviously appended the mono track to the existing two channel tracks that we had. If I come across here and then use the right click and find clip attributes, that's also shift command C or shift control C on a PC, click that. And you can see now that we have the audio and we've got the two embedded channels, but we also have an additional mono channel, which is the linked audio. Now, if I want to at this point, I can simply delete the stereo track and just work with my mono track, hit okay. And then when I load that into the viewer, I have my better quality audio. In the shop uh, by certain course of events. Uh... And also when I come across to my edit page and I bring that down into the timeline, I'm also using the higher quality audio as well. Uh, by certain course of events, uh, we found out that Rosebud was really- And you can see it's perfectly in sync, working together nicely, which is just what we need. Furthermore, if I show you those clips that we brought in earlier, and I'll bring those onto the timeline, just size those back out to see the whole thing. You can see that we're using the correct audio here and we can now work with much better quality audio than we had originally recorded in the camera but it's all in sync psychology and a-level economics we also use the rooms for academic scholars meetings and other seminars perfect just what we need to do and now we can go ahead and get working with our proper audio that we recorded separately just pausing briefly to let you know that the code word for this video is resolve if you've been watching this far and you've now got this code word, note that down safely for the future. Put it with the one that I mentioned before in the other video, and it's going to form a little phrase that you're going to need to redeem an offer that will be coming out very soon. Okay, back to the video. Shh. Just also want to show you that it doesn't have to be done in the media page. You can also do it in the edit page. Simply select the clips that you want. In this case, we're going to use all of this audio here, and you can see that the audio is very bad. Let me just load that in and play you some audio from this track. <laughs> You can hardly hear the singer because obviously it was recorded poorly on set in camera and it wasn't obviously the original audio. So let's select all of these shots, set them together with this one here, and then we can right click and again, just come down auto sync based on waveform, click and let that sync away. Obviously in this case, we've got sort of multiple shots being synced with one audio track, but the great thing is it works absolutely fine. There we go. And now when I bring in the same clip again, there's the clip four. You can see it's now the much better quality audio, all perfectly in sync. And we've done that as a complete batch. So again, if I were to click on a different clip, this one here. You can see it's all working absolutely as we want it to. We can bring it in. And then it also helps when it comes to doing multicam edits, which again, we'll touch upon in another video. Just jumping back to the media page for one more final thing that I'd like to show you. We've got a clip here which was actually recorded without any audio on it whatsoever. This is potentially a bit of a problem because you can't obviously auto sync it if there's no waveform there to sync it against. So occasionally you have to do things manually. So this is just a little tip. So in this instance, actually, because they were using dual system sound, they were also slating. So in this case, what they actually did is they had the talent clap 
and they also have a slate on set as well but they clapped and slated at the same time to give us a visual cue for our sync point so here what we would do is simply get our clip number two make sure it's up in the viewer find the point where the clap happens there perhaps and make sure we are absolutely spot on. We're using our left and right arrow keys just to make sure we're absolutely on the frame that we need to be on. Then we find the audio that we need, which is this one here, and we're gonna simply select it, and we're gonna come up, and we're gonna make sure the audio is turned on, and we're showing the waveform. And then what we do here is listen to the audio on this side. And you can hear the slate coming up here. And that's actually, the first one is his clap, and the second one is the slate. So let's just find the slate, or find the clap, sorry. And then we're going to make sure that this is selected, still on the same point, and these two are absolutely now in sync, but we have to tell DaVinci Resolve that this is now in sync. So what we need to do to do that is come down to this little icon just down here and link the audio. So now that's linked, the transport controls have just disappeared, and you can see that this waveform has now been updated on the clip, and we now have the good quality audio and is perfectly in sync. So let me just first... And the name is, of course, inspired by the movie Citizen Kane, in which the protagonists die. So you can see that we now have the audio synced up, even though we had no audio on that clip to begin with. If I also right click on this particular clip and come up to its clip attributes, you can now see that we have the, our linked channel there, but also notice that there's no embedded audio because there wasn't any to begin with. Just as a really quick bonus tip, I also wanted to show you a very quick way that you can actually now align and sync audio in DaVinci Resolve 17 in the timeline using the new auto align in timeline feature. So let's come back to this scenario here. I've reset all my clips so that I now have this music video and I'm gonna start throwing it onto the timeline. So you can see we've got the bad audio there. So let's just start throwing clips onto the timeline. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna use the shift key hover over the track header, and I'm just gonna roll my mouse wheel to just make these clips a bit smaller. I could, of course, come to my timeline view options and then just turn everything down. But I just wanna be able to see a few clips in one go. So I'm gonna do this really quickly just to show you how this works. So I'm gonna throw in all the different angles, and I'm gonna use a different angle on each different track. So each new clip will go on a new track. And we'll go five. And I'm just going to throw something a, bit, a little bit out of out of order as well, just to throw it really a hard job. They're all on there now. And then finally, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add my high quality audio track. And I'm just going to make sure that that is on its own track in its own right. So that's going to be on number 10. There we go. So you can see here we've got a load of different tracks. They're all out of alignment, but they are all on their own individual layer an individual track. So what we're gonna just do now is we're simply gonna select all of our clips in the timeline. We're gonna right click and we're gonna come up to auto align clips based on waveform. Again, these do not have matching time code. So based on waveform, click, let DaVinci Resolve do its thing and you'll see what the result is in just a second. Bang. Very, very quickly, DaVinci Resolve has gone and thrown all of these clips together and it's absolutely perfectly aligned every single one. Let's just drag them all back to the beginning here. There we go. And you'll see that everything is now in sync. I'm just gonna quickly mute all of the original audio by simply clicking on the first one and muting it and then scrolling down to the very last one that I want to mute, hitting shift and clicking with the left mouse button. And I'm just gonna uncheck the one that I want to leave on and then we should have everything perfectly in sync. And we should be able to, again, just toggle some of these on and off and see that everything is now absolutely in sync. And we've actually got the makings of a multicam here, which I will go into in a further video. But again, just for now, there's another way, of course, that you can sync audio in DaVinci Resolve 17. So there you are. You now know how to sync audio with video in DaVinci Resolve 17. Super simple, especially if you have a lot of clips to sort through and sync together. Now this video wasn't about creating multicams or syncing multiple video clips together, but I will be covering that in another video very soon. So do also stay tuned for that. And if you'd like it, drop me a thumbs up in the comments below. So all that needs to be said now is thank you indeed for watching, especially if you're still watching to this point. Do leave me a comment below if there's anything that you didn't follow or understand, and I try to help as many of you as I can in the comments below. Of course, I can't always do that 
that very quickly, but I will do my very best to get to you as quickly as I can. If you would like slightly faster reactions to things like your comments and feedback and questions and so forth, then you can always head over to buymeacoffee.com, which we are now on. And if you just support us there by buying us a coffee and helping this channel to keep creating the content that you enjoy, I'll also be able to get back to you a little bit faster as well with things like comments and things, as well as getting shout outs on future videos and things like that. Also, please do consider subscribing if you haven't yet. It would be awesome to have that support too. And if you hit the notification bell, then you'll be sure not to miss any videos when they get released. So I'm gonna sign off, but if you'd like to watch another video right away, then there'll be some suggestions popping up in just a sec on the screen. But otherwise, stay safe, keep creating, and I'll see you in the very next video. Bye for now.